simplify the square root of 68. So in a problem like this, um, the first thing you want to do is try to factor this in a way that allows you to get what's called a perfect square. So we're looking for a number that when you take the square root of that number, you get a whole number. So we can write this, the easiest way I see is 2 times 34. Right, 2 times 34 is 68. And then we can break up the 34 as 2 times 17. So you get 2 times 2 times 17. And now you see the 4. So this is 4 times 17. So maybe you can go from here to here. Um, I think, uh, you know, my first instinct was 2 times 34. And then what can we do with 34? Oh, that's 2 times 17. Oh, look, we have 4. And so now we're in a good place because now we can go back here and then just replace the 68 with what you did here with this 4 times 17. So this is 4 times 17. And then you can break it up. Use properties of square roots. You can take the square root of 4. And then here you have the square root of 17. And the square root of 4 is 2. So this is 2 square root 17. And that's it. And again, you don't have to be like a master at factoring in order to do this. Um, if you think of it like in simple ways, just think of like the number 2, right? 68 is 2 times 34. That's pretty simple, I think. And then can you break this up? Well, yes, you can. Then you can combine these 2s, and that gives you the 4. And that's what you want, right? You want a number that when you take the square root of that number, it's a whole number. That's how you know you're simplifying it correctly. And there's nothing you can do here with the 17. Uh, you know, the square root of 17 is just the square root of 17. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.